Hi there, today I'm just going to quickly um, run through how to make a um, pattern swatch in Illustrator. Um, really, really easy tutorial, nothing hard about it, and super quick, so yeah, let's get straight into it. Alright, so I've already gone ahead and made the um, starting objects for my pattern. I've just gone ahead and made two little boxes which will reproduce into a checkered like pattern. Um, you can make whatever you want for the purposes of this tutorial, but yeah. Anyway, so all we have to do is simply select them, and we can go edit define pattern and I'll bring up a little new swatch um, dialog box and we can name it whatever like so and hit OK and you'll notice that over in your swatches your little pattern will come up there as a new swatch alternatively you can just select the um, object and just drag it over and drop it into your swatch palette like that it will do exactly the same thing as going edit define pattern now um yeah, pretty much that's the hardest bit. That is always orders. It's pretty easy to do. So all you have to do to test it is just draw out any object that has a fill on it, and just click on the swatch, and you'll see that um, the pattern has been put inside as a fill. Now um, there is a lot of things you can do with the pattern as well, um, because it's all vector based and acts as a fill um, swatch. We can uh, also transform the um, size and rotate the pattern within the object without actually changing the size of the object. To do this we want to bring up our transform dialog box. If you don't have it you can simply go to window transform or hit shift F8 and just on the side here click the drop down menu and just untick scale strokes and effects and tick the pattern only. Um, now this is going to allow us to resize the pattern but we, we can't use the pointer tool and drag the corners because that's still going to resize our shape. What we're going to do is use the little um, value inputs here, the width and the height, and I'm just going to use percentages for the sake of this. You can use pixels if you want but um, I find percentages are just a bit easier to get your head around. Alright so because we have a little paper clip selected they'll constrain the proportions and we can just go ahead and hit 75% and I'll make it 75% small. There you go, and as you can see the size of the pattern has shrunk down accordingly. Now we can also rotate the pattern, um, so we can just go ahead and slip, put in probably about 45 degrees in there, and that should rotate our pattern around as well. Now you can also move the pattern around within the box using your um, using your mouse. All you have to do is hold the tilde button down on your keyboard. Now that's the little squiggly line that's next to the number one. So holding that down it allows you to move the pattern around within the box and if you want to align the pattern to the edges of your surrounding object a bit better like so so yeah pretty neat stuff really easy to do nothing to it really um, the hardest part is actually making the pattern itself um, just a word of advice if you say for instance you wanted some space around the object just put in a transparent square um, roughly to the size of the space you want behind the object and that should put in some spacing in between your patterns and uh, yeah so a nice quick easy tutorial today um, if you found this tutorial helpful feel free to hit the like button below um, also subscribe I do plan on making a lot more of these and uh, yeah have a nice day